Former UK basketball player is sharing his battle with a rare form of bone cancer less than two weeks after his right leg was amputated above the knee. Todd Svoboda was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in 2014. For the past decade, the Big Blue Nation has rallied around him and his family. And tonight, they are proving to do the same again. WKYT's Grayson Passmore has the story. In 2014, Todd Svoboda felt a bump on the inside of his knee that wouldn't go away. I told Francie, my wife, I said, um, you know, I, I need to have this checked out. Um, and I did. I went into UK and they quickly got me and diagnosed that it was osteosarcoma, which is a very rare form of bone cancer. At 42 years old, Svoboda began a fight with cancer that doctors typically only see in those in their teens and early 20s. But the former UK basketball player learned over the next 10 years that he wasn't alone in the battle. Knowing the UK and Big Blue Nation, it, it doesn't surprise me. Svoboda played for Hall of Fame coach Rick Pitino on the 1993 UK Final Four team. It was a great season, just an incredible run. Sitting in front of a wall of mementos, it's clear to see that as much as fans loved the team, Svoboda loved them right back. It means a lot, you know, it just, it, it just touches your soul. And after a decade, Svoboda learned he'd need BBN support once again. We got a really bad infection uh, late in May. On Thursday, July 11th, Svoboda's right leg was amputated above the knee. Devastating for the former Wildcat, his family, and the many who love him. We go back probably 20 years. When Malcolm Jennings learned Foboda needed a prosthetic leg to continue his active lifestyle as a father and athlete, he started the fundraising efforts. They're wonderful people. Todd deserves everything. After the surgery, Foboda wasn't sure he wanted to tell this part of his story. And, um, sorry. Then, with his family by his side, he decided to share in case his experience could help even just one other person. You just never know how it may touch somebody's life. In Winchester, Grayson Passmore, WKYT. Well, if you would like to help, we have a link to the Families GoFundMe inside the WKYT News app if you would like to learn more.